When society falls, we rise. I'd like to think that if society collapsed due to a rampant and aggressive virus, humans would be cool and help each other out until order was restored. But that would make for a pretty boring video game, wouldn't it? Well, there's no need to worry about high-minded pacifism buzz killing a good time in Tom Clancy's The Division, the new massively online shooter from Ubisoft. The game starts with the poop already well past hitting the fan stage, with the United States decimated by a smallpox pandemic. You're part of a division of tactical agents making a last-ditch push to save New York from anarchy. The division features an open-world environment where you can take on missions or venture into Manhattan's ominous-sounding dark zone for some player-versus-player -player action. Ubisoft insists the division works as a single-player game, but much like the popular space shooter Destiny, you'll need to run with a group to get the most out of the game's content. The division is available for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. For some reason, Twilight Princess was one of the more polarizing Zelda games when it was released as the last hurrah for the Nintendo GameCube and a launch title for the Wii. I'm not sure why, maybe it was the Wii's half-baked motion controls, or maybe it was the fact that Link spends a good portion of the game as a wolf. But I for one loved Lupine Link, so I'm glad to see Twilight Princess get an HD makeover for the Wii U a decade later. While there's not much new content to Wii players who completed the Twilight Princess the first time around, the improvements to the controls and graphics make for an appealing package for those who missed it 10 years ago. Canada's national summer sport gets the video game treatment this week with Casey Powell Lacrosse 16, starring former Hamilton Nationals player Casey Powell. What, you didn't know that the Hamilton Nationals were once a thing? You are a terrible Canadian. I hope this game is a success, mainly so other niche sports can finally get their own video games. I'm thinking of a CFL game complete with the ability to play as all the defunct franchises, so I can finally live my dream of bringing the Memphis Mad Dogs the Grey Cup glory they so richly deserved. From the Canadian Press, I'm Curtis Withers.